Hey there, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and Windows 8 was released to manufacturing, so this is the final version of Windows 8 we got installed on this tablet. And uh, there's a few new things, so let's check them out. One of the first things you'll notice that has changed from the uh, release preview on Windows 8, the final version, is uh, the setup sequence. The first prompt asks you you know, what color combination you'd like for the theme. Then you're just going to go through some wireless setup, uh, some express settings. So this appears to be a tutorial about Windows 8. And this is very important because Windows 8 is a very different type of operating system compared to uh, what Windows 7 and everything before that was. So we see you can swipe in from the edge or move your mouse into the corner. Here we have the new lock screen image which is a pretty nice illustration of uh, the Seattle Space Needle. And so we just swipe it and then you get to the start screen and uh, there's something new down here. We see a new background image. So let me go to the settings and show you all the new options for the start screen. So here we have a ton of new background images. I'll just go through a few of them real quick. And if I hit the start, you can see the full screen version of that. Let me go back. And there's some swirlies in the bottom. A little bird. Little flowers. This one is kind of nice. And you see it applies right away as soon as I select it. This one's pretty nice too. That's a cool fish. And we have that and that. Some of them are pretty horrible looking. Um, you can see what this one looks like. We got some weird colors there, kind of distracting. And we have the little circles, and now we're getting to some really bad ones like that. <laughs> And here's some others. And there's the blank one. Let's go back to this one. You can see all this kind of distracting, <laughs> if you like that. And there's a blank one. And we also have some updates in the desktop. There's our new default picture. And if you go to personalize, we only have uh, two little themes here. Well, this is the Windows default, and we also have Earth. And we have flowers. So, more flowers, and we got pink. And it's uh, set to change colors based on the image in the background. So, you see that happening. Uh, but we also have noticed this theme is much more flat. Everything's more flat, more metro style, so it really goes better with the uh, metro style interface. MX style is what I'm calling it. And here's a theme that I used on a previous version of the Windows 8 beta, which was synced over. So that just came through in the cloud. And what you notice is when I have a black uh, color theme, none of my text is readable in the, the heading up there. See, I can't see anything in that main title bar there. That seems like a bug. can't even see the minimize button. So let's get back into the MX style interface, the new start menu, and uh, see a few more new things here. The email program now supports IMAP accounts. So from here we can also add other accounts. This is uh, wasn't there before, but now we can add IMAP and POP3 as well as Gmail, Exchange, Office 360, Outlook.com, Hotmail, Live.com, MSN, all of those are now supported. The calendar, people, and email programs now sync properly with Exchange 2003 and higher. So that's really great that they didn't remove Exchange 2003. People app now has some new features. If I go to the Meet tile there, I can post to Facebook or Twitter. That's a great new feature that wasn't available in the beta. Of course, you can see your own stuff here and notifications and photos. 
all that good stuff. And here we can see the people that are online. You can see I have it checked online only. And we can start chats with anybody. The Photos app has uh, seen an update as well. Now we have this uh, Ferris wheel background image. However, we can't seem to change the background image. It seems to be stuck as that, for now at least. And you can see photos from all your different locations. The music app has been updated. And it's uh, Xbox Music now. And you can just, there's your store. And this is a great feature that I like. If I swipe to the charm, I can do, oops. I meant to do share. And I can share it on Facebook or Twitter. And it gives you a link to marketplace.xbox.com and it'll let whoever clicks on it uh, check out the album. Or download it if they want. There's your Twitter link. Same for the video app. It's now Xbox Video. We sign in. And you can see television store, movies, highlights, and your own videos on your device. And again, we can share these on social networks or any other app that has the share support. So that's a quick look at some of the new changes in the final version of Windows 8. Uh, we're sure to see some updates to a lot of these apps that are included because they're all, uh, you know, updatable separately. But mostly we have bug fixes and a few theme changes, the start screen and the desktop backgrounds as well as the colors. Not a whole lot different from the release preview, but some nice changes. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and that's it for now.